Hi everyone, and uh, thanks for coming along to watch another video. It's been a while since I've posted anything, uh, and that Philips set I was working on, uh, I pretty much finished off. I'd just like to replace the grill cloth, um, and as as always, that's the bane of most restorers over here um, in uh, in the UK trying to get hold of some decent grill cloth. It's, it's pretty much impossible to uh, find anything uh, suitable. So, as I say, that went back in the, in the loft some while ago and I've been busy with work and stuff ever since. I've had a few projects on the go, but I didn't really film them. So anyway, I thought it was time to film something else. This rather battered Hacker RP18 Sovereign in front of you here, I've had in the back of the car for uh, over a year now. Uh, I bought it at a, um, an auction. Um, it was partially stripped you see the grills missing and it's in rather a battered state but um, this is one of the first of the production run this one's the seventh oldest recorded on the hacker radio groups database so this one would possibly date from February March 1964 so it's almost exactly a year younger than me you wouldn't think it this 52 years old um, as I say, it's it's rather battered. It was missing, obviously, the grill. Um, all the knobs were gone. Sorry, that that knob and that knob were gone. It's missing the FM aerial. It was missing a handle, and it was missing the amplifier board. Um, a few days ago, so I've been watching out over the last sort of 12, 15 months to see if I could find um, uh, another RP18 that was a little bit battered because I don't really like taking radios to bits that someone else could restore um, but anyway I you know had in mind I'd try and find one that was a little bit a little bit battered so I wouldn't feel so guilty taking it apart and that one's sitting just here so I'm going to take this one apart um, they're not really rare but uh, this this one's quite an oldish one as well with that white grill on the back but um, that one there is certainly not as rare as this one here because this is uh, this is quite old um, so what I'm going to do is over the next couple of videos or whatever is try and replace all the bits um, I did um, find a uh, Hacker RP25 Sovereign the later model a few years back and that was in a really battered state all the leather cloth was ripped and everything uh, and I managed to strip a few bits out of that so I did have a handle although that's not the original handle the original handle would have been a plain black um, sort of rather springy uh, material this one's um, like an aluminium extrusion with uh, this black plastic centerpiece so the hunt will go on for uh, for another RP18 that's a total wreck with just a plain handle I've actually got one in the loft actually but that's on a working set so I don't really want to uh, ruin that one so let's get on to the radio these were if I show you this one you'll see what it looked like originally so these were um, so made from about 1964 this was the first version of the Hacker Sovereign this one's got the later dial just the all black dial with the black push buttons um, this morphed into the Hacker Sovereign RP25, which is here. There's another Sovereign there. So I'll just move that. So that's the RP25 Sovereign, and this is the RP18. Um, and they are FM, medium wave, and long wave sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, I've actually got a spare grill that I took from the other sovereign that I dismantled. So that'll sit in there. Um, this set actually luckily came with the white grill for the black. Um, I'm going to take the knobs off this set here and uh, get it back into working order. Take the aerial because that's one thing you just can't get is the is the aerials for these now and we should have a um, fully restored working uh, older 
set. So this one serial number 1491. So that would have been in the very first production batch, I imagine. Um, right, let's have a look inside. Right, and here we go. This is the uh, inside of the RP18 that I'm going to repair. Um, this side you've got the uh, IF board, AMIF board, and this side's the FM board. Um, unusually, this set still works, and I'll show you in a minute. It's still got its original AF117 and AF114 transistors in it. When the camera focuses, come on, camera. Focus. Yeah, that's a bit close. Um, so these are all original, and um, usually you get tin whiskers in these, and the set stopped working. Now, when I switch to FM, which I'll, I'll show you, so you can hear it, there's a little bit of distortion on it. So I don't think these transistors are working properly anyway. So I'm going to have to re-transistor the whole set and I shall replace all the electrolytics as well. And I'll try and make them look as if they belong in the set as well. Because I think that's quite important. This set is, you know, it's going to be rarer and rarer as the years go by. It's, um, you know, it's 52 years old. I would not normally bother with a transistor radio, but I would like to make this uh, original as possible. So I'll try and disguise any modern caps that go in there you know I, I could even restuff that really couldn't I um, you know that's probably an idiotic thing to do but um, this one is probably a little bit rarer than the average sovereign so I think I'd like to do that um, this down here is the amp board with the 5 pin connector off to the power supply and up to the volume controls so you've got HT coming in here as well as the audio obviously and then back out um, the speaker now this is the speaker wires um, now that is not the original amplifier board that came out of an RP25 sovereign that I scrapped um, this set didn't come with the amplifier board um, I may even use that board there but I'm not 100% sure because they look pretty similar except for the capacitors and those blue Phillips style these ones with the blue heat shrink over them they were used in hackers so I might keep those you know and just check they still work properly up here you've got the FM tuner that was made by Gawler in Germany there's a few uh, imported parts on these hacker radios um, you know this this tuner obviously and then some of the fittings I believe were made in Germany as well the FM aerial sits here so there you can see it with its mounting bracket there and there's the green fly lead that I'm gonna um, show you in a minute All right let's switch it on so that's on FM and see FM's I've got it I'm holding the end of the fly lead here actually so my body's acting as an aerial you can just hear it it's not it's shit music really bad music anyway so we'll switch to medium wave don't want any more of that so I mean it's not and just slowing things down. It's Keeping not it very it sensitive as you tune across the bands. Because basically they are now thinking in terms of the clock and running it down and getting safely home to Merseyside and then just tuning into five right at the draw for the fifth round. Oh, of course, that's what every fellow... But the sound's the there, next. you know. All, all you need when you get... So I imagine those transistors aren't really working properly on the AM board. You know, you should you be know, getting... Would be one of the tips to watch out for throughout the... Should be getting more stations than I am tuning up and down yeah there should be a few more stations it's sort of uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon here should be a few more European stations coming through by now so anyway the work ahead I'll stop waffling the work ahead will involve um, 
cleaning and replacing uh, the knobs on the front here obviously um, the felt underneath will be replaced um, the amplifier board might be replaced with a recap version of that um, I'm not sure yet all the electrolytics will need changing in here um, then there's all the fittings here like these have gone rusty so I'm going to be replacing all of those the handle did I mention the handle? it's not an original one um, the original one and I apologise if I mentioned this in the video that I shot 10 minutes ago but that handle is not original it should be a plain black covered rather more springy uh, material I haven't got one on another set to show you at the moment but I do have up in the loft anyway so I'll be on the lookout for another RP18 one day I'll try and get another handle like that I'm um, sorry just the original handle and then we'll have a fully restored uh, set obviously there's the grill to replace I need to replace the white grill that goes on the back of the cabinet here one thing I did notice and it's quite unusual is um, you see this the plate the uh, uh, piano hinge here now where the batteries leaked and you can see where the where the old old style leak proof batteries have leaked that that, that made the hinges rusty yeah and look on this one that's almost mint a little bit of metal polish will clean that green off and uh, that'll be a mint hinge which is not you know that's not um, not commonly seen they're usually covered in rust where the batteries have spewed out all over them right so that's the next couple of weeks work sorted let's have another look at that dial original dial and then they changed within a not very short while they changed to this sort of dial you see it's totally revised really well there we go and it should one day look a bit more like that than its current rather battered self right thanks for watching